Yo guys, how's it going? We're here for another episode of FIFA 19, but this time it is starting off a new career mode that we'll be doing on this channel. Starting this one off with a Spanish second league time uh, side, sorry, in CF Rio, as you can see here. Um, starting this career, hopefully being a bit of a um, a challenge based series hopefully only being able to use the nationality of the players that the side is from so obviously this being a Spanish league side only being able to buy and use players from uh, Spain which hopefully will basically make this career mode a bit more fun to watch had an extra act aspect to the career mode and as you see here just going through a few of the objectives of this um, of this season that the board are hoping for us to hit which hopefully we will be able to hit most of them obviously we ain't going to be able to hit all of them uh, they're not wanting much on a lot of them though as you can see most of them four and fives there's a couple there's only one on two so we should be able to hit most of them but we do get an offer straight away at this club for our goalkeeper in Basilo which we definitely say no to as we go into our first game pre-season game as you see there in the bottom right corner a quick uh, glance at the side we are using at the minute as you can see here we go into this side uh, getting a red card straight away in the 38th minute through Luso getting two yellow cards which isn't the greatest start from him not exactly looking brilliant for us but they do get a red card in return in the 70th, 79th minute they couldn't make the extra man count in the time they had it and the game does finish 0-0 as you can see here we do get another offer for another one of our players in Martinez we go into this one hopefully trying to sell him on as he isn't a Spanish player uh, hopefully try and sell him on for a bit of money he's only 23-66 overall so we will look at selling him on and trying to get uh, at least a little bit of spending money out of this so for their first offer they put in a £930,000 offer for him we go ahead and bump up the offer to £1.2 million as I reckon he can, we can get a little bit more for him as I can see he is only a 23 year old hopefully I get a little bit more money to spend and bring in some younger stars from Spain again trying to use that Spanish link and hopefully bring up some good players that we can in fact have from the first season have some good prospects as they add a 2% sell on clause which we just didn't want to do as we have no intention of doing that I've never wanted to do that in these career modes as of yet <coughs> anyway going back another offer straight away here for another one of our players again it is Martinez and again it is a £930,000 offer that we do get again we do bump it up a, li a little bit more to £1.5 million this time again hoping for that little bit of extra money to hopefully boost us on in our uh, aspects of trying to hopefully get a promotion out of this side in the first season as you see here they come back with a £970,000 offer we drop our offer um, a little bit to £1.25 million which we hope they go up a bit and they do go up quite a bit there with £1.505 million shall I say as I do consider accepting this I go up to £1.150 just to try and add that bit more on and hope that they do come and accept our offer but we fall at the final hurdle and they do go ahead and say that they don't want to do this offer as we get another offer for one of our centre backs which we go ahead and say no to because at the end of the day we haven't got that much money to spend and completely change the whole side like you used to be able to in other career modes uh, in previous FIFAs but these ones hopefully we can get a bit of money out of some of these players that we do need to get rid of as we can't use them and again we do get another offer for Martino seems to be a sought after man and get uh, a £990,000 offer 
we go ahead and say 1.5 million again but they come back with an 11% sell on clause which is quite good but again I don't know whether we'll get sold on or not so you never know if you're going to get that money back so we go ahead and reject that and put it down to 1.3 million they come up to 1.2 which I was definitely definitely considering off accepting which we do ahead go ahead and accept at the end of the day that is more money than I was actually hoping for and more money that I was actually asking the other two teams for so it was more and we do get that 1.2 million but we do get another offer for him with a starting offer of 1.05 million again we're just getting a lot of offers for him and they are quite a lot of money considering how much we're actually starting this season with it is a lot of money to us so any money is good money to us we uh, counter offer their offer with 1.5 million like normal they come back and say 1.2 <coughs> just because they say that we do go up ahead and bump up the offer to 1.3 they say no we're sticking at 1.2 million and we go ahead and accept that again like I say we do go ahead and accept that offer and we go through into the next game which is against Rotherham and I am thinking about doing this uh, career mode with our lower league side English side so I don't know if you guys would like me to see to see me do that if you would then I'd like you to leave some comments down below and hopefully uh, just suggest some teams that you'd like to see me preferably in league 2 if you can uh, any team that you'd like to see me uh, manage as you see here we do go 1-0 down to Rotherham but we do in the 88th minute Garcia gets a goal to make it one apiece so we get very lucky there but we go straight into our next game and our final game of the group stages against Kilmarnock we had to get a win out of this game to go through as you see here it goes 1-0 one 1-0 pretty much instantly in 32 minutes we had three goals in this game and it was looking very dangerous that we wasn't going to get the win but Rube Val comes through and gets us a third goal uh, Martinez sorry comes through and gets us a third goal and then Garcia adds to his talent for this cup and gets us this fourth goal and Martinez does in fact get sold as you see there and that is enough money for us to bring in a new player in his replace of him but we now go through to the ra round of 16 against UPEM, I believe that is. I don't know where they come from or anything like that. But they do go 1-0 up and then they take a 2-0 lead in the 40th minute. And they just add to the pain by making it 3-0 in the 60th minute. We get one back in the 66th. But we couldn't pull back a good enough win and hopefully pull us back enough. We couldn't quite do it and that means we are out of that competition but Basilo does get an offer for him which again we go ahead and reject as you see here we now go in for our first signing of this transfer uh, window and of this career mode which is Vialbre a 20 year old 68 overall striker from Athletic Bilbao I've known about him in other career modes uh, in other FIFA sorry and I've had him he seems like a very good player and the first offer we give for him is 1.2 million and they go ahead and accept which I was very very surprised about I thought I could have got him a bit less and kind of gutted about that a little bit but we do go ahead and go straight into his contract to try and bring him straight into the club as you see here what 2.2 million left with an important squad role He's on £6,400 at the minute, so hopefully we can bring them wages down a bit as well, because obviously he is at quite a big club in the Spanish leagues. Obviously we're quite very low down in the uh, second league, so we do try and bring him in for five years, which we couldn't quite do. He uh, barters us down to, <coughs> Sorry about that, right? uh, to three years which we go ahead and accept because I don't see in these career, uh, in these contract offers if they say uh, you say five years they come back with three we don't normally be able to barter them up anymore so I just leave it as what they say 
they go ahead and add in a re uh, release clause which we go ahead and reject because we don't want a 2 million release clause on a player that should have quite high potential and will probably hit that in a few games or say maybe a season it will be over that uh, estimated release clause and will be basically selling a playoff for cheaper than what he should be and that's just not what we wanted but he does go ahead and accept the deal that we do offer him and we then go straight in to try and sign another player again from the higher division and this time it is a young centre back 21 years old 65 overall from Valencia Yavi uh, Jimenez as you can see here he's estimated at 600,000 so we do go ahead and offer a lower sum again at 500,000 they come back and say can we add a sell on clause which we if we sell him on you give us some uh, percentage of that offer we go ahead and say no to that because at the end of the day he's going to be worth a lot more than that and that could add a lot of money onto their uh, deal but they do come ahead and accept the £540,000 offer which we go ahead and accept and go straight into his uh, contracts to try and bring him into the club as quickly as possible again it is, um, it's not as much a position we need to attend to but I do definitely want to bring in some younger players just so I have some young potential players from Spain in the side and be able to up and br bring them up with me as we go through this career mode. It will be quite cool to see these players when we first start to when we finish the career mode eventually. But we do offer them a, a rotation uh, squad role and a three year contract length. They again wanted a release clause which we again go ahead and reject as we don't want to be adding that fair enough we only signed him for 540,000 but a 1.4 million offer if he's playing well we'll probably get over that anyway so we don't want to go ahead and uh, add anything onto that. They come back with the wages they want again the wages are dropped from what he's on now because he wants to be playing more football we go ahead and try and drop the offer a little bit say why not having none of it they come back up with uh, £3,200 a week and a £27,500 uh, signing on bonus which we go ahead and try and barter them down that little bit more to £2,800 a week and £24,500 on signing on bonus they only go down £100 on the wages and they don't go down anything on the signing on bonus here so we just go ahead and accept that bring the young lad into the squad and hopefully get him straight playing as you see there we have that little bit of the uh, squad showing you the squad there if you want to go back and pause that that is the new squad we will be playing the first game with with the, um, the new signing in there as we now get another offer trying to get in there get in some money here as you see it's another player that we can't use in Carlitos uh, just to bring that money back up we've spent it on a couple of players trying to bring that money back into the club now uh, they offer us 250,000 we go back <coughs> and double the offer to save 500,000 and they go ahead and reject that instantly but that is all for this episode, thank you for watching and thank you for um, joining me on the first leg of this road to hopefully winning the uh, many many titles with this side. But yeah again thank you for watching, I'll see you all in the next one, peace.